Look at this one. Ethan, welcome to the program. Thank you for joining us here on Africa Live. Ethan, the the two governments are talking about spring, which is basically this month and the start of May. How prepared is Rwanda to receive the migrants, Ethan? Richard, actually, we expected the it's first flight to the arrive uh, him to a better, a better of this month, uh, according to what the Minister of Justice told CBGN about a uh, few weeks ago after the passing of the big bill by the lower chamber. Uh, that, that bill uh, on, on migration, uh, between migration partnership between Rwanda and the UK was actually assigned to by the President Kagame this week. He signed it into law. Uh, the cabinet passed it sometime last week. And now the process was that the next flight, the first a few flights would be arriving in a couple of weeks from then, from last week, which we expect to be the end of this month. And it looks like it's going to drag on probably later May, but we expected the first flight to be arriving um, as soon as, as possible, considering that uh, the questions that were raised by UNHCR and other uh, people who are against uh, the, you know, the migration partnership in itself, uh, those concerns have been uh, um, uh, uh, addressed in the new uh, partnership uh, deal that was signed between the government of UK and the government of, of Rwanda, and it has now become into law. So 2,000 uh, migrants are expected to be arriving um, in the next uh, two months, as, as the confirmed of the Minister of Justice here in Rwanda. All right, uh, Ethan, 2,000 migrants expected to arrive. Well, it seems the migrants are ready, the UK is ready. The question that needs to be asked is, is the Rwandan government ready, Ethan? Yes, um, so uh, Richard, what we know is that um, now the numbers, first of all, I'll start with the numbers. 10,000 will be arriving in the course of five years, according to what we know uh, so far. So what has been being done right now is make sure that the groundwork regards low is prepared, but also the, the facilities that are going to be receiving these people have been set aside. Uh, there's quite a number of establishments, uh, estates that have been built. Um, some were inspected by uh, the former um, the former Minister of uh, Home Affairs of the UK, and others were looked at by Tom Cleveland, uh, who was also here uh, recently, uh, looking into uh, the facilities that are going to be receiving these migrants. That People who have been trained, over 1,000, uh, rather 155 people who will be serving in these facilities have been undergoing training. But we also understand that uh, the, the legal part of some uh, judges who have been looking and uh, you know examining these migration claims by the migrants themselves have been uh, selected, some from the UK, others from here, and will be uh, looking into uh, the claims of these migrants. So uh, the government of Rwanda has looks like they have been working silently behind this, making sure that once the first uh, flight is, is here, these people will be having places to leave and they'll be received according to the deal that has been signed between the two governments. All right. Ethan Tashobia in Kigali. Thanks for that.